to look at diving deeper into multiplication and looking at prime and composite numbers. If we look at prime numbers, we know prime numbers are a number greater than one that has only two factors, one and itself. An example would be the number seven. It only has two factors, seven times one or one times seven. Then we look at composite numbers. It has more than two factors. So an example is eight, because you could say one times eight or two times four to make the number eight. Now we're going to look at some ways, some strategies that I'm going to show your child to determine whether a number is a prime or composite number. Using area and array models can help your child model whether a number is a prime number or a composite number. If we take the number 7 and we try to draw out an array for 7, the only array that we can make is 7 times 1 or 1 times 7. So it's 7 boxes going straight in a row. That tells us that it is a prime number. If we look at the number 8, there's actually two different ways that we could do it. We could do 2 times 4 and make that array, or we could do 8 times 1. So that makes it a composite number. And that is the difference between prime numbers and composite numbers. See you next time in math class.